Welcome RPA champions. In today's video we are going to do something really cool as usual. We're gonna scrape or extract all of the LinkedIn groups with a special word or tag. Why do we want to do that? We want to extract all of the different LinkedIn groups so that we can either contact all of the members that are there so that we can join those groups or so that we can post inside of those groups. What we want to do is we want to automation to visit this page on LinkedIn where we have searched for the metaverse and extract all of the different links to all of the different groups that are related to the metaverse. If you wanted to do this manually, it would take you some time. That's why we're using automation and we're going to be using Microsoft Power Automate desktop because it's free and also because it's already on your computer. So we are going to name this extract LinkedIn groups. Let's create this flow and let's start building our automation. The first thing that I should do is I should take this link and convert it into something that Microsoft Power Automate can read. So we can search for the code URL and we can paste our link inside and we can decode our URL. Once our URL is decoded, we are going to get this URL and we're going to use it inside of our automation. Now let's create the basic automation, browser automation. And then what we need is to launch a new instance of Chrome. We need to add the URL that we just got and expand this to maximize. That's pretty much everything that we have to do right now. So let's click on save and let's just run this automation because we're going to need that web page so that we can extract everything that's on it. So we can also see that the link has worked. We are on this page. Now, one thing that you should modify is that we want to download all the files on all of the 76 pages. So we need to go to all of the different buttons. Now, when we go to the different buttons, we are going to see that the that there is an extra thing that is added that is called page three. Now we're going to copy this for the time being and we're going to add it inside of our link. So it goes right after this and it should look something like this. Now let's try our automation one more time to see if it has worked with the link that we have added it and we added page three. So theoretically we should be on page three. Everything is working to start extracting the data from this page. We can use the recorder because it's going to be the easiest way to extract this information. We can click on record and after that we are going to extract the link from each one of these. So as you can see what we need is the link. Extract value and we're going to get the link. We're going to do the same thing for the uh, link below. Now we have extracted all of the links. Let's also extract the name as well and let's extract the name of the other one as well. Now we have extracted the name and the link and that's pretty much everything that we want in this automation. Let's click on finish, delete all of the steps that were generated for us automatically by Microsoft Power Automate but are not necessary because we already created one step here. So we have two steps, two easy steps. One is extracting, the one is launching Google Chrome and one is extracting the information. Let's try it right out of the box and see what happens. Is it going to work? Is it going to extract all of the 20 pages or the 20 links that are on this page? I think 20 or 10. Let's go back to our automation and see if it has worked. Well, so far so good. We have managed to extract the first, uh, the link, but has there has been an issue with our value. Since we didn't get value two, we are going to extract, uh, open the extract data from web page, and we're gonna enable process data upon extraction. I would always suggest using this option because this option is going to allow you to process all of the information that even might be hidden. Now this for large data set is not recommended because it's going to take a long time. However, in our example, it is perfect because we weren't able to extract the title of from the page because the title had some elements inside of it that were hidden or not being able to extract. With that enable, let's see if we were able to process and extract all of the information. Perfect. We have the first part of, the, of this, which is the title, and then we have the link to the page. That's pretty much it. However, we only have 10 rows. Now, what we need to do is extract all of this information from all of the different pages. To do that, we are going to go to 
right here and we're going to insert a variable instead of our page a variable that is going to go from 1 until 10 or 70 or whatever number we want to extract the information from to do that it's extremely easy we're just going to add a simple loop in the beginning of this we are going to start this loop at 1 and add it at 50 in this example we're going to increment it by 1 we're going to move our page to the top and right here we're going to add a navigate or a go to page so we're going to search for go to and go to web page is just a redirect from the current page and right here in the url we are just going to paste a sample url in the url we are going to paste the url that we had previously however we're going to change the number three and we're going to add our loop index this is going to change from one two three four five as many times as we want and then we are going to add the extract data from web page like this we should be able to extract all of the data from every page that is inside of this loop so before beginning the cycle we would change the name that we want to extract from we would go see how many pages there are so in this example there is 76 pages if i want to extract all 76 i would add 76 here and that will allow me to extract all of the 76 pages however this is not done yet why because we have this data in just a tabular format we should have this data in an excel sheet let's do that also very quickly and just i want to point out to you that we have done all of this in just five steps which is pretty amazing now the next thing is to add excel we are going to start by launching a new excel instance we're going to write we're going to create a new document we're going to save uh, we're going to save this and launch a new excel after that we are going to write to this excel page we're going to write all of the information that we have in our output variable so the values to write we're going to add our output data in here and write then in column a we're going to start in column a and in row one however this needs to be dynamic why because with every cycle we're going to add 10 new pieces of data to our excel sheet so that is also very easy to sort and to do that we have to add get first free column so we're going to get the first free column before we write to the excel sheet and then go back to our excel sheet and change this row to making it dynamic by adding a first free row as you can see this is all super simple once you know how to do these things let's save this and this should be pretty much everything that we need to do now we can close the browser and close excel and save excel so let's do that for cleansiness and then let's test our process so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to close excel and we are going to save this document let's save it right there and that's going to allow me to save the document automatically let's save this and let's also close the browser so to find this action very quickly i'm just going to type in to the window and i'm going to close the web browser like this we're going to have a clean page once the process continues why because this process is going to go on for a little bit it is going to take quite some time to go through all of the 76 pages now one suggestion is that we should add a wait uh, just not to confuse linkedin and make them think that we are a robot we're going to add a wait of uh, four seconds at the end of each loop so before going to the next page we're going to wait for four seconds now let's test our process and see what happens so the first thing is should launch an empty excel sheet and launch our page on page three then we should navigate to page one and we should extract all of the links from page one after that is complete the links should be added to excel sheet and we should go to page two so right now we're on page two let's take a look at the excel sheet so let's move this out of the way and let's see how this is going so this is the excel sheet is going really well we have already collected 51 examples of uh, from the uh, from different groups about the metaverse that is amazing uh, this is a lot of uh, a lot of work already done right here now this is going to go through all of the different pages we are on link 70, uh, 71 so that is already 70 pages we can see how our process is going but everything is working just 
fine. That is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I want to show you in this video, how easy it is in 11 steps to extract a huge amount of information from a web page that otherwise you wouldn't even consider about doing this kind of things. That's it. If you have enjoyed this video and if you want to follow for more, you know what to do. I'm here waiting for your ideas and waiting for your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.